So today we are uh, somewhere near an airport, actually. Yeah, Don't Torrance. even know. Torrance, okay. And uh, we're meeting with one of my mentors, uh, a guy named Jay Abraham. Uh, Jay has been uh, someone that has had a specific and measurable impact on my life and my career for a few decades. Sean, uh, Sean's part of three people inside my office. Actually, they've just divided up their roles. You shoot the Tom Ferry Show, which is our weekly, you know, weekly nice. show. Mm -hmm. um, another guy, Tristan, does our blog, right? Which is what we're doing now. But Sean lives here, so it's a local. Please. He still cannot recruit him. Not too far. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 you saw, I drifted yeah. out. I'm like, local, local. 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 San Jose. That's what I mean by local. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. still yeah. local for me. <laughs> exactly. Close enough. I can exactly. do with that. Yeah, and then uh, my original videographer uh, now is going into podcasting. So, yeah. yeah. How are you? Really good. Sean on my team. Hi, Hi Sean on my team. Videographer. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Right. I like your jacket. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like your whole outfit. Oh, thanks. I'm a big fan of comfortable shoes too. I am now because uh, I have all these really cool shoes that are miserable after a while. Exactly. If you're on stage, oh, they yeah. kill you. Yes, yeah, they kill you. This is all I wear. Yeah. Out well, I first got exposed to him in 1991, so that that takes it a while back. Um, and I've hired him with some very specific uh, results in mind. First. I want to be able to influence uh, our clients in a way um, that he's influenced my business, to, to think differently and think strategically and get outside of the norm of real estate marketing and do things better. Helping them stand out in a very crowded space of real estate professionals with a lot of noise in the market. So, so one of my initiatives is hiring Jay to help our clients position themselves more effectively. Same thing with our coaches. He's got a lot of tools and has had a lot of uh, influence and impact on influencers to help my coaches be more influential, be more strategic, be more thoughtful, be more accurate, be more intentional in the way that they coach. And then at the end of the day, I want to do the same thing with myself. There's no growth in what you already know, right? So when I spent time with Jay, I learned all these new words, right? Because the guy's got a vocabulary which is tremendous. But I, but I learned a different way of thinking that, that, that makes me question what I do, right? Mm -hmm. That challenges my status quo. And you know, in our position as the number one you know, thought leader, coach, trainer, et cetera, in our space, I need to be challenged. Because more of the same is only gonna get me more of the same, right? Mm -hmm. If I wanna, you know, maintain our dominance, if I want to uh, continue to, to be the force in the marketplace that we are, then I need to continue to be removing old thoughts that no longer support me, old strategies that no longer support us, and, and adopt and test and try new approaches. So, so I go out of my way to basically get uncomfortable. And you know, the next couple hours, I'm sure there'll be some uncomfortable moments, but again, that's where all the growth is. I love being a student. I think that's uh, that's always been one of my greatest gifts. I was on the phone uh, recently with a buddy of mine who's the president of Zillow, and he said, "I don't think I've met somebody that can synthesize the amount of content that you can that you can synthesize, codify it in a way, and simplify it in a way, and present it to agents. You take all these crazy data points and just tell them what they have to do based upon that." I think that's always been my gift. So, uh, you know, I, I actually really enjoy uh, you know learning mm -hmm. and being challenged and, and hearing different points of view and uh, you know even it's funny because I was like the worst student on the planet yeah like I mean I don't think anybody had a worse track record in <laughs> high school or getting kicked out of high schools than I did I mean maybe I'm sure there's a few worse but uh, I know that uh, certainly I was no valedictorian um, but when I finally found what I was passionate about human beings potential personal and professional development I mean, for 30 plus years, I've been a ferocious learner. Like, that's my, that's my gift. If you've had a rich life, you've been very blessed. I agree, and I agree. And, and I was thinking about something. You come in helpless, you go out helpless. Yeah. But I was thinking, it has an analogy. Your business starts helpless, but you don't want it to end helpless. Interesting. Think about that. That is good. All right, goodbye. You give me a lot of things to think about. Okay, I'll you. see you uh, see in a couple weeks. Okay. I'll, Thanks, bye. my friend. Thank you. It's overwhelming uh, 
how much he gets me to think mm -hmm. and uh, and look at things differently and from 15 or 20 different ways. Um, but like that's the joy of it. Like I'm slightly overwhelmed right now, and now I got a nice one-hour drive in traffic and to digest sort of it all. synthesize and and think about you know how do I how do I take from all this and execute on it. So Wonderful. that's good. That's the value of coaching.